Nora. A haunted house. A haunted house. Block building is all about collaborating, experimenting, exploring, and using their critical thinking skills. Um, when you're building with blocks, you're exploring the different sizes, the different shapes, and you bring them out and experiment with them on how your building will look by using them. When something happens, like a building falls down, they need to critically think with their partner, how can I build this building again? And we might ask questions like, what blocks do you think you could use this time to make it more sturdy? What would you do differently? Do you need to make your building smaller or shorter? How tall can you make it without it falling back down? Things like that. And when we reach the accessorizing process, it's an organized um, exploration where they can bring out people and cars and it has to make sense for their building. So it's really organized, but they're still exploring at the same time. Out of squares and, and rectangles, and I made cylinders, cylinders for, for the parts of the, of the animal houses. So the problems that could come up might be um, collaborating with a partner. Maybe their partner doesn't agree with what another person is wanting for their building. So we need to think about communication and working with your partner to really talk through what blocks do you both want to use and what blocks can you compromise with. Um, we also think during the rebuild process, how can you make this building more sturdy if it fell down? Block building incorporates science by experimenting. Um, needing to make sure if these blocks are sturdy or not. And it's also uh, testing out balance. Are these blocks going to balance well with each other? And so it's all about experimenting and that incorporates the science. In math, they are uh, working with 3D shapes, they're sorting, and they're organizing their thinking to make the structure. Um, the social emotional development is that they have to work with a partner and they are really emotional sometimes if their building falls down. Um, it's a lot of work and you can get overwhelmed. So um, they're working with a partner, communicating, compromising, and doing all of that.